Hi, I'm Stephen Nutter, I'm the Executive Director of Green Cambridge, and here I am uh, <clears throat> at the DPW Tree Nursery lot in Cambridge, Mass. And we are about to receive uh, our 125 trees uh, from a nursery and uh, get them unloaded. And Cambridge DPW has been so nice uh, to allow us to use this spot temporarily as we hold these trees uh, before we get them planted through the Canada Group program. So um, we're gonna be sharing the, the video of this process here. The truck should be showing up. Um, it is, I don't know what time it is because my watch is off, but I think it's like eight, we'll say it's like 8.30. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. But we do have coffee and uh, you know, we're ready to go. So stay tuned. So this is part of the climate mitigation work uh, you know, that we have to do is trucking trees in from different places, which is why it's going to be so cool um, in probably another couple years, I think, uh, our um, tree nursery at IQHQ on top of a, our parking garage, we'll actually be able to grow our own trees eventually. You know, over time, we'll get to, get to that point. Uh, so we won't have to bring these trees in uh, as much as possible. And we can also grow um, community resilience and um, education around like how to grow trees, how to get things you know from the start. Because from a systems level, we may not be able to keep up what we have now because we have to get so many more trees in, into the city. So we're going to have to start a pipeline uh, with our tree nursery. This is the space that uh, we have here at DPW. It's a little space to keep our trees. We're just unloading and we'll fill this space up. Oh, oh hi Nick. Nick's our uh, Northeastern co-op. Uh, Nick, what are you moving in there? Ginkgo. Ginkgo. Big Ginkgo. Presidente? Yeah. So here's the space. We're starting to get some more trees in here. Eventually we'll have 125 pretty soon. All right, what are those? Hackberries. Those are massive. They were very happy in the nursery. And they're gonna be very happy in somebody's yard. So <laughs> one of the reasons that we we're able to get these trees is because we got this amazing National Fish and Wildlife Foundation grant uh, that paid for um, all the trees. So that's how we do it. All right, so you can see all these trees. They're actually all bare root um, and they're in these plastic bags, which they're great bags and we will reuse them for something else. Um, what you got there? No, hold on. Let's put them over here. So right now we're just sorting the trees according to species to make sure that we have all the ones that we said we were going to get. Um, and then what will happen here is we'll organize them into the space uh, by species. So we'll know exactly what we have and what's going on. Keep really good inventory. So all these trees here, they're from uh, Chestnut Ridge Nursery, uh, which is in New York. And uh, they supply so many trees to 
all kinds of municipalities across the across the northeast. So uh, we got 125 trees in this order. Uh, we're still unloading, but <clears throat> so far we have I think about 250 uh, residents who have applied to to get a tree, um, and so that's the location. But then we have to have the labor to actually get them to the ground. Uh, we have a 15-person uh, camp crew cohort. We pay them um, a stipend for eight month for this eight, eight month program. Um, and this year, I think we'll probably get around 200, maybe maybe 250 trees in the ground up until uh, April. Um, but then uh, we, we definitely want to get to around 300 a year that we just do 150 a, 150 a season. So one, 150 in the fall and 150 in the spring. And this is how it works. Just one by one, taking a tree off the truck. Uh, we have a Liana in the yellow over there is doing inventory. And then um, bit by bit, we just get this all sorted. So there's actually, you know, a, a fair amount of labor involved in getting the, the tree from the nursery to here, doing all the inventory around it and everything. So we've just been working on operationalizing all of that. And if it wasn't from the support that we have from the community, the support we have from the city, the support we have from, from foundations, the support we have from you, uh, giving $5 a month, $10 a month, $20 a month, we wouldn't be able to do this. We have five uh, full-time staff members now, um, which is required to, for all this coordination to make this to make this happen. All right, so we're starting to get uh, all the stuff here. Um, these are our Acer Armstrongs, um, and then sorry for all the spinning. <laughs> so then, like over here, we have just so much more. I'm just going to walk back and see what these are. Uh, Let's see, these are, what do we got going on here? Uh, these are the uh, Zelkovas, uh, City Spire. Um, pretty cool tree, tall, narrow, really good for uh, urban environments. Um, and then these, these big ones here, uh, these are the Prairie Centennial variety. Hackberry. Oh my god, look at that. Look how tall they are. They're so so massive. They're like a giant tree. So uh, But that's totally bare root too. So which is great because uh, with canopy crew, you know, we're out here uh, We have people who participants with us who um, They're not trained laborers or anything. They're you know high school students and so they're, they're learning and the bare roots are really good for that uh, because they're really lightweight you know, and they're um, easy to dig the hole, you know, so we don't have to do a lot of soil disturbance, which is also really good, um, and get these trees in the ground and repair our communities. All right, so we just got done getting everything off the truck. It's all sorted. So here's two different species that we have over here behind me. And then you'll see all the ones that show up here, all those plastic bags, each bag uh, holds a tree. So we're at a total of 125 trees. Um, the tractor tra trailer's closing up now. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay and work with the DPW crew uh, to get each one of these trees, get all of the twine off of them and get them set um, into the ground. Uh, so that they have a place to sit while we get them planted. So for uh, each one of these trees, <coughs> we have to get the bag off of them. So we have the bare root there. <coughs> and then they're all, they're all bound up like this. Um, and we're just using uh, utility knives to get the, the twine off. They're, they're bound all the way up. Um, and we have these great uh, Milwaukee gloves, which I love. Uh, because they also have cut resistance so you don't get cut. Um, and then there's also tags. We can take these off, these, uh, these plastic tags whenever we can. <clears throat> the red and the white one there, that's, that describes like where the tree came from, uh, what size it is, what species it is. Um, but these plastic tags we try to take off. Um, we definitely get them off in the field too uh, because that can constrict the tree. Plastic does not degrade. 
Um, so to sit there and kind of choke the tree, but we have all these trees that we have to go through one by one. Um, and this is how we solve climate change. All right, so we got the end loader here, just dropping mulch. And we're basically just making some rows. mulch and then we'll set the bare root trees in that called peeling in. So we have so so many trees you can see just right here but they go all they really go all the way around. So we're not trying to make it pretty or anything but we are trying to make it organized. And you can see here that uh, I'm just gonna walk over this way here just to show you all the trees that we have. So we're just prepping each one of these trees, getting them all set. These are our uh, giant sequoias. Pretty happy about those. All these here. So many trees. And then we have more over here. These will all wind up in backyards. Um, and for right now, they're gonna sit here where that inloader is. So what's happening is, is as we're cutting the twine off here, getting the bags off, getting everything set, uh, then over here, this is just how we kind of heal it in. Just make rows of, uh, of mulch. It's leaf mulch and some other things. So our little forest is taking shape here. You can see we're just getting some of our last trees in. Uh, such a great day. Such a good feeling to have all these DPW crew out here. Yeah, all the trees, 125 trees. Canopy crew this season is gonna be amazing. You can find us at greencambridge.org forward slash canopy crew. You can get yourself a tree in your yard. Thanks a lot.